Don't mind this voice, okay? I'm, I'm working on it. Um, some lovely passenger gave me their code. So, um, I've been fighting it for the last couple of days. I lost my voice. It's coming back a little. It goes in and out. There are times I'm thinking I'm getting it back, and then all of a sudden I start coughing and I lose it all over again. So I'm hoping that I get past it. I'm eight tomorrow. I do have a trip. I have a two day. I have a three day today that I traded out of it because um the first the thirty first through the third um is VJA which is overtime for you know throughout you know company wide. So I picked up a trip on the first, which is today. But I wasn't feeling well and I didn't go to bed till this morning because I came home yesterday and I took a nap because I wasn't feeling well. And so, <clears throat> right now, um, I'm about to go to bed and um, I took some medicine so I'm hoping that it kind of relaxes me so I can sleep um, through the night and not wake up. My report, my report time, report time is 7.30. I'm the A, so I'll be up front. And um, it's just a two day. I had a three day and it was worth a lot of money. But I just couldn't do it. I, I would have. I just couldn't do it. And I wasn't feeling what a day. So then I said I was going to work on my cold. And I did. And then tomorrow I had a three day. And I was going to keep it. But. Right now I'm just not. I'm not feeling well. But I don't want to bypass my. Uh, any type of overtime. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I left my board open this month just in case we have um, any type of overtime that's being offered throughout the month. So, I didn't pick up trips like I normally do. I didn't pick up any reserves, y'all. Y'all, listen. <laughs> Your girl didn't pick up no reserves. I'm going to show you why. Because, I mean, me working a lot is not why I'm sick. The young lady that I was talking to on the plane when I was in the C position and over here exit. She was sick, and um, I guess I call her germs. But I didn't pick up any reserves because this is this was my schedule. I don't know if you guys can see, but this was my schedule all last month. They called me on every reserve block I had. They called me on the reserve block that I my original reserve block, and they called me on the reserve blocks I picked up. So I mean, it was so many incentives to pick up reserve blocks this month. I was not doing it. I just cannot. I'd rather pick up a trip because if I'm not feeling well, I could trade down. Like, for example, I had a three day. And even though it was worth a lot of money for overtime, I chose to trade it down to a two day. So that's a good thing about having a line that you can always trade it down if the if trips pop up in there. So basically, trade down means that, for example, like my trip was worth um, $19.50. So I had to trade it down to something that's like um, seven hours. So um nineteen fifty so I had to trade down to something like twelve and then I was able to that's why I was able to get that trip because I traded down from something that was less than eight hours. So now I'm at like twelve something of overtime pay when I had nineteen fifty of overtime pay. So I did give up a chunk of um hours but y'all I'm just I don't wanna miss out on the overtime because I do have vacation this week. And I not only get overtime, I'm also getting paid for my vacation. So it's not either or, I get paid for both. So, um, tomorrow, like I said, I have a two day. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. And hopefully, um, my voice comes back. I'm a, I plan to eat um, halls. I mean, lemons, honey, everything, ginger, ginger tea everything so i'm hoping hoping that it gets back my nose is so dry for me you know blowing my nose it's just horrible so um yes yeah, so hopefully hopefully this doesn't bother you guys when i'm speaking but i definitely want to come and make sure i have a video out for you um on friday so i'm about to go to bed because like i said i have to be up at five i'm about five thirty but i have a flight my report time is seven thirty but i did get some stuff to eat but then i realized it's a two day well as a matter of fact i take that back when i went to the grocery store i wasn't anticipating of giving up on giving up my three day but i ended up giving up my three days so i really didn't need all the stuff that i brought so it's, it's all good i might just leave it for when i come back because i i might get back pretty early so i have today uh uh when i get back in two days and then 
on the 4th I'm going to a derby party so I'm excited about that and um, I did my hair again um so yeah that was the process because I wasn't feeling well yesterday but I'm about to go to bed so I'll see you guys tomorrow and uh y'all keep your girl in your prayers hope I get my voice back because I don't like going to work and people feel like oh my god why are you coming to work you can't talk so I plan to eat a lot of hauls while I'm laying here and uh yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow when I either wake up yeah I'm gonna do it when I wake up because you guys never really see me awake you always see me in a hotel or um at work or something so I'm gonna let you guys get up with me um I don't have to worry about um uh them calling me for reserve thank god oh my god I, I don't understand so um yeah i'm about to go to bed oh as a matter of fact before i go to bed um i'm gonna do a quick story time um so basically i was um of course on reserve last month and when you land you're supposed to call and be released and once you're released you get a report time or a contact time i'm sorry your contact time is the time that they're able to contact you the following day so um make a long story short i came in from a trip and i called to be released and my contact time was 4 30 the next morning so i repeated repeated it back to the um scheduler because i always do and I said, so you say my contact time is 4.30? He said, yes. I said, okay, thank you. Have a great day. And he said, you too. And I went on about my business. Um, I got home, did whatever I had to do, went to bed. Now, on my last video, I told you guys that they started calling me at 2.40. Like, they called me one day at 2.41. I answered the phone, so they got me. So, um, they called me the Fault Reserve and at 2.40. 30 something and I didn't answer because I'm on to the games okay <laughs> I'm on to it. like if people want to like take those four o'clock trips they'll answer I ain't that I'm not the one okay y'all know I don't mm -mm. four o'clock Jesus not even up at four o'clock okay the head of birds ain't even chirping ever the cat's not even the dog not even barking okay at four o'clock three two o'clock that they call me so anyway I'm sleeping and I went to bed late because y'all already know my first day reserve, it's always anxiety. And I get to the hotel and I go to sleep on the first day. The second day I sleep good. The third day I have sleeping problems because my last day reserve. So I'm, I'm, I go, I come home and I go to bed and I finally fall asleep at 11.30. Before I fall asleep, I'm looking at the reserve list throughout the night before I fell asleep. When I fell asleep, I was like number six or seven or something. But my contact time... I probably was higher than that. My contact time was 4.30. Remember? 4.30. They started calling me. Oh, no. The next morning, I'm asleep. And when I lay down, I'm asleep. Like I said, I'm asleep at 11.30. So, my phone rings at 3.08. And I'm like, and my phone, I'm like, dang, 4.04. I was meant by quick in my head. But I'm like, uh-uh. Let me look and see what time it is because they got me last time. So, I look. I'm like, it's 3.08. I'm like, I'm not answering that phone. My contact time was 4.30. So then, uh, but you can't answer. It's at your discretion. So then they call me at 409. Didn't answer the phone. Because I'm like, my contact time was 430. So I'm like, but they really trying to get people on this flight. But this, I just came from a flight late. I'm tired. I need to get this every bit of sleep I can get. I wake up. I finally wake up around about 7. Because they didn't leave a message or anything. Like I didn't see anything on my phone. says message. I just seen the um, missed calls. So I woke up i said well let me see what's but trip they got on my schedule because they showed blown up my phone so i look on my schedule and i have a utc a utc is unable to contact which means they called you and they were unable to contact you and that's point <laughs> i was like wait a minute i, I listen i did this. i was like i thought you would think i had water in my ears because i'm trying to be like what's going on like what's going on so, I don't know if you guys remember that episode with Jeannie and Martin when they were in, um, in. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry, my camera, um, 
was going dead. But anyway, let me hurry up. And I don't know if you guys seen the episode of Mark and Gina when they were out of the country and they thought this rat was a cat. And Gina was like, baby, baby, oh, I thought that was a cat. Like that the confused look because she couldn't believe it. That's how it was when I looked at the UTC on my board. So I was like, something not right because no darn well, I ain't got no UTC. Because they called me before my contact time, which was 4.30. I pulled up my um, call log. They called me 3849. So, of course, I called them. I'm not calling with attitude. I'm not calling upset because whoever answered the phone, probably not even the person that called me. I didn't get a message from them at all. So, I called and I was like, hi, you know, my name is Tiffany. It's my phone number. Um, you guys called me this morning. And um, I'm looking and I see that I have a UTC. It was like, yeah, we tried calling you to answer, and we couldn't leave a message or mailbox was full, but my, you know, my mailbox was full, wasn't full, but okay. So I was like, uh, um, they said, so, you know, you're not in reserve, you're off for the day, and you go back in reserve tomorrow because we were, we were unable to contact you today, this morning. We had a trip for you, then they said a two-day. And I was like, but my contact time was 4.30 and it was like, oh, well, you had two reserve blocks together and they started giving me all this, you know, this, like, specifics. And I was like, but my contact time was 4.30. So she kept talking, like, yeah, we try to leave a message. And I was like, but my contact time was 4.30. Because once you start engaging, you know, if you have a union, you'll understand. But if you know... The contract and you know what they told you and you know what you're reading on the reserve list then you can fight it you can grieve it which means you can go to the union and say hey they're saying this but I know for a fact that this UTC is not founded and it needs to be removed from my record so but you can call at the at, you can call before you get the union involved to try to resolve it so she was like telling me some other stuff. I'm like, but my contact time was 30. So I think she kind of, you know, they know. So they, she called on. She's like, you know, let me get a supervisor. I was like, thank you so very much. So she got a supervisor. So the supervisor got on the phone. And she was like, give me a minute. I'm going to pull the tapes. And I told her, I said, well, she got on the phone. And I was telling her, I'm like, yeah, you guys called me. This was a time. This, You know, you didn't leave a message. Um, and my contact time was 4.30. When I went to bed last night, I looked on the reserve list. My contact time was 4.30. I said, even when I called to be released, the gentleman told me 4.30. And I repeated it back to him and he confirmed it. I said, because I always repeat it. So she said, okay, well, let me go and um, pull the tapes. Because you recorded it. She pulled the tapes. I was on the phone for like 15 minutes. Because, of course, I got to pull the tapes. Because they're calling multiple people at your base all morning. And people have to call in, and change the trips. There's a lot of things going on. So they finally come back on the phone. And she was like, um, I want to apologize. You're absolutely right. Your contact time was, um, he did tell you your contact time was 30. You did repeat it. And he did confirm it. Uh, we do apologize for removing your UTC right now. Um, thank you so very much. You're going to go back on reserve. Um, and you're just you'll just be back on your reserve block but i'm now i'm now removing your utc because you were right so um they removed my utc when i refreshed my screen i told her thank you so much for looking into it i appreciate it you know because it makes no sense to call to catch your attitude you have a union to fight for you you call with attitude that can that can hurt you in the long run you call and you talk to them crazy and being disrespectful you record it that can hurt you in the end that's why you have a union if you don't have a union you know what I'm saying? You need to have your ducks in a row. You need to make sure you, you know, you know the system. You need to make sure, you know, that you know what you're supposed to do in your airline, especially when you have a union. But we have a union. So, I had already set up, like, if I have to, I would have to grieve it. But I didn't have to because the supervisor removed it. I went back on reserve, number one. I might drop that again, or they're going to put me at the end of the list because, I mean, technically... I mean, you put me back on reserve, so put me in the list. No, ma'am. I was number one. I would let they call me for a trip. I knew they was going to call me for a trip. They called me for a trip. But, yeah, I want to tell you guys that, like, you know, if you have a union, that's a good thing. That, you know, that works out for you. But the reason why, the good thing about it is that every time I call to be released, I always repeat what they say. I always go on the reserve list, not only to see where I am on the reserve list, but I go to see if what that person told me, my contact time was, is listed 
on the reserve list, especially if I came in late from a trip and I have another reserve block next to it. I need to make sure that if my reserve time is later than the original 3 o'clock in the morning, I need to make sure what time that is and I need to verify that. That's why I always repeat it and I still go on the reserve list and I look and I verify it. So, um, yeah, that's what happened. And I was like, no, that was not today. It's not today. I just came. I mean, not today. But I promise you guys, I thought I was the only one that they worked. Everybody on it. They worked. Everyone. Everybody that was on reserve this month was worked. Like, they worked. Everybody. They went through the list all month long. My uh, crash pad mate, she left yesterday. She thought she wasn't going to be called. They called her behind it. Guess what? I'm behind on a trip right now. I mean, they use me every trip, every reserve block I had, they use me. So, um, now I'm not on reserve this month, thank God. But I have to bid because I have a reserve next month unless the base flip and I'll probably reserve again. But I did, I do have um, vacation, but my vacation falls on my line month, which doesn't offset me to where I'm like out of order. I want to stay in the order I'm in. So, my, I have two weeks vacation this year because I've been here over a year. So I have my one week vacation this month. I was lucky to get it. And I have the other week vacation, in, you know, my birthday week in September. So I'll come and share that story with you guys. And yeah, so let me go to bed because I'm getting sleeping out of medicine kicking in. So let's hope this medicine kick in and work on this congestion. And uh, allow me to talk. For you guys can understand me. I hope you guys understand the story. If you can't, let me know and I'll tell you the story again when I get my voice back. But overall, y'all, let me go to bed while I'm getting sleepy. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Alright, guys. So, right now, we're in San Antonio and we're on a ground stop. A ground stop means that I have to do to weather or something going on in the airport and or if the president's coming in. A lot of different reasons of someone that's from like higher up like from the white house or big politicians they have ground stops so our ground stop is basically due to weather going into dallas there's some really bad weather in dallas so we're on a ground stop and i'm here in san antonio i woke up this morning running around like a chicken okay um and i made it to work on time of course i'm gonna do anything else and make it work on time so um, we did our first flight here to San Antonio from Houston, but we couldn't do any service because of the weather. And now we're waiting because of the weather going into Dallas because it's around this, um, the Texas area. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just waiting. Um, the last update that we had was they're going to call us or inform us or update us in an hour and 20 minutes. So we already have a short overnight. So a couple things can happen. They can send us somewhere else. They can cancel this flight. They can leave us here. Um, they can deadhead us somewhere else to work a different flight. Or we could still work any flight or catch up with our flight and then get double pay. Or of course our risk is reduced down to nine. And then after that, um, they probably have to get another crew and we get double time. And I'm already on an uh, 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 overtime trip. So I can get more money. So it's either or. My trip to my day tomorrow is pretty long. So um, yes, yeah, two two hour, two and a half hour flights, and then a three something flight, and then we had this flight, which was the two short ones, which was the one to San Antonio and the one to Dallas. They were short, but the one going to LaGuardia is like two and a half hours. So um, then we were already pushing a, a short overnight. So that's okay with me because I wasn't going to do anything but go to bed anyway. So right now I'm just relaxing, waiting. I got my glove because I'm cold. Um, and I have my um, uniform, well, I have my shirt on with my new skirt. I love it, I love the new skirt. It fits perfectly. I don't have to worry about um, altering it. It's the right length, so when I sit down, it's not too short, it's not too long. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not too short, it's not too long. It looks really nice, I really like it.
going on guys i'm here in laguardia we finally made it um we had some delays today um we had to hold like just do circles around the airport so it's pretty crazy today um we got some extra flying time because of course the doors were closed the doors were closed and we were up in the air and we're in flight and um so we got some extra time so i got some extra overtime um <clears throat> I'm in my room right now waiting on the uh, electrician or whatever he is to come up because of course the room is not getting warm because there's a switch behind this vent. It never fails. And you already know when, it's, when that's the problem because when you call them and tell them your heater's not working, they're not saying, well, did you turn it on and do you know how to work it? They never ask questions. They always tell them to send it, uh, uh, someone up because they already know what the deal is. So I'm in my room. Um, I'm about to go to bed, take a shower because I have to be up early in the morning. My report time is, shoot, I think my report time is like 4, 40, 440, something like that, but I'm about to go to bed. So let me show you the room really quick. So here's this nice chair. I put my bags on. I have this chair here. I have the bed, and I like these little bed lamps. They're really cool. It's really cool. I like this light because it was really dark in here, but I turned that on, and I realized it actually works. Here's a desk. Here's a TV. There's a refrigerator and a microwave. Here's a big mirror. I love the big mirrors. Here's my uniform. I actually had my skirt on today. Um, here's the bathroom. Right here, I'm about to take a shower in, and. Um, there's our lovely closet, so that's the room tour, really quick, really quick fast in a hurry. Like I said, I'm about to the bed, I'm going to wait and see when this guy come up so he can uh, turn my heater on and make sure it's working because I like to really, my ritual is if it's not really hot outside is to come in my room because it's always cold in the room, warm my room, warm my room up, get everything out, set everything up, and then I go over and I um, take a shower when the room is hot and I get out the shower and I'm in heat and my body temperature is okay, especially now with this cold that I have. And then I come and I get ready for bed. I get everything set up and situated and then I turn the heater, heater I, I either turn the heater off or I turn the air on, one of the two. But I'm hoping that he doesn't take a long time because I really need to go to bed. So I'm gonna give him like about 10 minutes and it shouldn't be a long time because I mean, what's really going on? And hopefully he comes in time and then I'm able to take a shower. So I have everything here. I'm going to set it up and put it in the bathroom and just get ready for bed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I had a really good day. Really good day. So, yeah. Let me go to bed. Well, get ready for bed. And let's hope this guy comes, okay? Because I will call them again, okay? So, anyway, good night.
pageant. It's a race with jockeys and their horses. It's a very big deal. You see a lot of the uh, the wealthy people and the people in Hollywood go to watch the actual derby in Louisville. But for the rest of us who can't go to Louisville, we just have watch parties around the U.S. and we just dress like we're going there. So you see, I have.